Take control here and now. 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 Mm-hmm. Hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. I couldn't get that song out of my head. So I figured I'd just keep on singing it. The song is called You Are Here. Please forgive me, I cannot remember the name of the artist, but it is a it's a worship song. You are here, you are here now. Have your way as we bow down. You are here, you are here now. Have your way as we bow down. Um, somebody's masculine is totally about to, uh, well, he's not about to, he already has submitted <clears throat> to spirit. He has given spirit control. He is tired of fighting. He is tired of the towers after towers after towers. And he is um, walking in his fullness. He is putting on his crown. He is letting this happen. He's letting, I keep seeing the picture of, uh, was that Jacob? Wrestling with the angel. I think the angel was Gabriel. Probably Gabriel or Michael. <laughs> and he changed his name because he said, I won't let you go till you bless me. And I feel like there are some masculines that are saying to spirit what they know to be their higher power, what they know to be their source. Take control. Here and now. Take control here and now. Support. Take control here and now. Teacher, rabbi. Take control here and now. I give it all up and die to this. Take control here and now because this love has enchanted me <laughs> could be everybody out here i see fire i see water i see earth i see air look at the hair blowing in the wind i see earth and i see water here i don't know why Oh, I know why. I was going to say, I see a Scorpio there. I know why, because it says death. In traditional tarot, Scorpio is the death card. Teacher, to me, this is like a hermit. You might hear the dogs bark. I have the windows open. China. I have the windows open. It's such a beautiful day here on the East Coast. As the day is even winding down. But this is a, uh, I see earth here. And Virgo. Pisces. I even see Leo in there. Oh, yeah. Support, fire, water. What can I say? Air. All right, so we can check it in with the masculines. They're gaining the support of spirit. Let me go each card by card. Take control. One from the moon oracle. Their current heart space towards you, feminine. Take control. These will be their thoughts, their messages to you, divine feminine. And this deck will be their heart space towards you. Take control here and now. <laughs> Card number 17 is self-reflection. Their heart space towards you is self-reflection. What? You know why? Because you guys share the same heart. You're one soul, you're twin flames. I love it. Looking at themselves is looking at you. 
Oh gosh, take control here and now. In addition, oh wow, that was a lot. I can't take those. I want one, please. Uh, the Sacred Geometry deck will be the deck that says uh, what Spirit is doing in him right now, what he's working on with Spirit. Oh. Manifesting, <laughs> manifesting that relationship, manifesting that union, manifesting that healing, deliverance, tired of the separation, becoming the alchemist, card number eight, which is all about walking in your authority. Authority. <laughs> You are here, you are here now, have your way, as I bow down, you are here, let's get a blessing, you are here now, Ooh. have your way, I'll take that one, as we bow down, a blessing to give clarity. <laughs> we'll get there. All right, let's do these messages. Um, you are here. Let's start with support. So this masculine is feeling supported by his ascended masters. This masculine is feeling supported by you, divine feminine. This masculine can feel your prayers even though they don't talk to you. It's okay, everything happens telepathically. The reason why you learn telepathic communication is for times when you are not together. It will calm your fears. And uh, those of you who had bouts of rage or jealousy or anything like that, when you communicate with your twin, twin telepathically, you don't worry what they're doing. You don't worry about how they feel about you. You simply tap in. So this masculine is feeling a lot of support from the heavenlies, a lot of support from the divine, a lot of support from archangels. Michael and Raphael, they're getting stronger, they're getting wiser, they're beginning to understand how important it is that they do the work and not uh, put off today, <laughs> put off for tomorrow what they can do today. A lot of these masculines are understanding what support truly is. They're understanding now that support never changes, it never ends, that supportive, supportive people are always there. It's not fly by night. This masculine is even understanding the concept of fair weather friends. This masculine recently came through a tower probably with some friendships, some people, some um, backstabbers, some backstabbers. Um, masks were falling off all the last maybe 14, 10 to 14 days. And this masculine is truly uh, understanding and seeing who is a support to him and who is not. <laughs> This masculine is studying even more because they've called on the rabbi. Some of them whose ascended master is Yeshua or Jesus. Uh, whoever their ascended master is, Buddha, whoever. I just heard Lakshmi, Kiko, Rabasi, mm -hmm. Lao Tzu. Some of them are studying. Uh, <laughs> some of them are reading up on Nostradamus' predictions because some of these masculines are definitely conspiracy theorists. <laughs> no doubt about that. Oh, man. Uh, that's because some of them are gods, and they they like to watch the things unfold that they already knew was coming. Anyway, that's a totally, that wasn't for everybody, and it came out for a reason. We'll understand in the comments, I guess, later, but um, I normally wouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> I would have just listened to the conversation being uh, taking place around me. But anyway, but I digress. But this masculine is uh, calling on uh, every sage that moves his spirit. This, this masculine is reading and discovering. Um, this masculine is being reminded of his divinity. This masculine is being reminded that he is truly not only a student, but he is a teacher. And now that the student is ready, the teacher has arrived. So this masculine is learning a lot. And he is learning a lot from you, Divine Feminine. He's learning a lot that you chose yourself, some of you. Uh, made a decision to walk away. Some of you made a decision to limit um, your communication and even your telepathic communication. Some of you totally removed your energy from your masculine, and that is what galvanized your masculine into action. But your masculine is being taught right now, and he's with one of the best teachers or the best teacher ever. Himself partnered with spirit. <laughs> this masculine is learning to become a leader right now. 
This masculine is learning to lead not only himself, but anybody else that is attached to him, his family, his community. This masculine is learning so much. And it's all because he's not distracted or even disrupted. Ooh, like the baby, like the dog just did me. China, thank you for that demonstration, but I'm gonna need you to can it. Stopbarking.com. All right. Also, this masculine has gone through a transformation, a death. Some things fell away from him. Like I said, I keep getting friendships. I keep getting, uh, I'm hearing sour family relationships. People that have had long standing beefs, people that all had either bullied or judged or condemned, um, <laughs> lied. This masculine heard a lot over these last couple of weeks about truth. This masculine was made to face himself and his own deception, even as he deceived himself, himself and others. But all that's falling away now. This masculine has uh, risen from the dead. He's been transformed and he's walking into his new life. You see the man with the butterfly wings? Almost like the plume of smoke, a plume of fire, the ascension, the yellow. That yellow represents wisdom. And of course, that blue represents sonship. This masculine died in order that he could rise again as a son, an S-O-N of the Most High, and the S-U-N. The sun represents the masculine energy. Enchantment. This masculine has realized that there is no happiness aside from you. The masculine realized that he searched all over, couldn't find nobody. He looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, <laughs> nobody greater, nobody greater than you. And this masculine couldn't learn, love to, learn to love you right until he fell back in love with his spiritual side. But this masculine has found that you enchant him. You love me. Anyway, this masculine is, uh, I, these masculines are singing. I mean, they're singing, singing. But uh, this masculine decided that, okay, great, I'll, I'll submit. She drives me crazy. She drives me crazy, ooh, ooh, like no one else. <laughs> she drives me crazy, and I can't help myself. Man, I haven't thought about that song in a long time. What's that? Young, fine young cannibals. Oh, shout out. Maybe they'll reach, reach out to me. I love them. Anyway, this masculine has found that you are enchanting. It's your love, and it's your love from a distance. That's how you know when you really, really got something real, when you don't hear from a person or don't even talk to a person, but you just, something that you can't see, taste, touch, feel is driving you. You've enchanted him when he saw you. Some of them are remembering when they saw you last. Some of you... Are, it's like a stencil or a um, tattoo, you know, on their eyeballs of, of when they saw you last, what you did last. They are, they are ever reminded of the memory, your smell, your, your touch, your taste, your, uh, the, the lilt in your hair, the, some of you for the, the twist in your hair. Some of you had your hair twisted or untwisted by your masculine. Some of you had your masculine brush through your hair. Again, I'm doing that hair thing. I remember another reading when hair came up, but I can't help but look at that woman's hair there. And some of you got some woolly hair. You got some thick hair, right? And your masculine's like, yeah, all of that. Give me all of that. That's for some of you. Others of you, your masculine just likes the way your hair looks. He likes to bury his face in it. He likes to muss it. Is that is that what that's called? Muss it or, you know, mess it up. You know what I'm saying? Just like that in your hair. And you say, stop, stop, baby. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Anyway, alchemy. I'll get to that card in a minute. But self-reflection. This is the, your heart, the, your masculine's heart space toward you. And it's card number 17. Let me find it. But I love that, the fact that you guys share the same soul, share the same spirit. Your heart beats the same rhythm because you're so connected. But it says, be curious about your own nature. Choose to turn inwards to quietly contemplate who and what you are and want. Hmm. 
Again, this masculine's heart space toward you is self-reflection. When he's looking at himself, he's looking at you. Right now, this masculine is all deep within his heart, examining what he wants and who he wants. And that's you. It says, the more you know about yourself, the more you are able to steer yourself well. So the better he levels up, the more he'll be able to understand you and vice versa. Know what you believe and why, yet be open to the development of new beliefs and ways of being. Some of you are finding that your masculine is of a different faith or a different belief system than you. But your masculine is right now, at this very moment, aligning with your belief system. Getting ready to get real curious about what you have been talking about over these past few months or even these past few years. And they're ready to embrace it because they're taking a long, hard look at themselves in order to understand you. <laughs> All right. Both scientists and spiritual practitioners believe there is much benefit to be had in self-reflection because the process involves us thinking about what is happening, how we react and make sense of it. It exposes our strengths and weaknesses and gives us information to make changes if we choose to. As self-reflection is something we would all benefit from doing, why don't we do it? And that's one of the things that this masculine was avoiding, looking at himself, looking within. But without you... <laughs> he finally had the courage, the strength, and the time to do so. And he's doing it. I love the fact that I was waiting for a card to show what the masculine was feeling about you in his heart space. And wanting to know and be with and love you is making him go inside his own heart, which is yours too, of course. But go in with his own self, go within to understand you. No time to point fingers because some of your masculines might have pointed fingers at you in the past. You're a problem. It's you. It's not me. I can't talk to you. You don't listen. You're just waiting to respond. You're not listening. You just want what you want. You're rushing. Da, da, da. All that. And you were like, what? Why are you always finding fault with me? Why are you? I just love you. Is that a crime to love you? I love you. I love you. Is that a crime? Somebody's saying that. <laughs> no, it's not a crime to love your masculine. That's the design of it. Self-reflection. All right. Let's talk about this alchemy card right quick. Because this is what the spirit is doing inside your masculine right now. He is becoming card number eight, the alchemist. Mm -hmm. The frequency of alchemy. Take this. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Told y'all. He said to that angel, I'm not going to let you go till you bless me. Till you let me see all this in my tool belt. Till you let me see how fabulous I really am. See what I'm working with. I'm not going to let you go, spirit. I love it. So each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. And that's transmutation is a very good word, feminines, because we all, we, well, we both need to do that. Masculine and feminine needs to learn how to transmute energy when you can't have what you think you want at the time, whether it's union, whether it's a kiss, whether it's a hug, whether it's a call, whether it's a text, whether it's an email, whatever it is, you have to be able to transmute or change or refocus or redirect that energy that makes you feel like if I don't get this thing that I want right now, I'm going to die. Put that power and that passion into something else, like creating something amazing. Be creative. You are a creator. Create. So alchemy usually refers to the process of transforming matter, particularly that from metal into gold. Hmm. But in the more esoteric sense, alchemy has been associated with magical transformations. And we say the masculine went through a death. Mm-hmm. So anyway, alchemy has been associated with magical transformations that we have to do with longevity. Magic is as real as we allow ourselves to be. Whether we aim to transform metal into gold or wish to find the secret to life itself, when we access the mysterious, subtle, and often undefined parts of ourselves that light us up, we get a taste of real magic. Love is one of the greatest, most mysterious, and magical energies in the universe. And when love comes to us and we open our hearts to welcome it in True alchemy can work. So when we open up our hearts to love and welcome it in, that's when the alchemy can work its magic on every aspect of our beings. Mm -mm -mm. And then it goes on to talk about tantric sex, but I'm going to leave that alone. You know, about how the two energies blend and it's so powerful that <laughs> that'll be another video. 
Anyway, but this, this, this masculine is learning the magic of being magical. This masculine is learning the magic of being connected to the spirit and, and co-creating with spirit. And what is he manifesting? What is he uh, trans transforming? He's transforming himself in order to be the king and the priest for you. To be the wise one in the house, not just you. To be the protector in the house, not just you. To be wisdom for the children and for you. To be a guiding light. To be uh, an anchor. To be the strength. To be the comfort. To be the divine masculine. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Let me give you this blessing from my Celtic um, blessing cards. Card number... What is that? I gotta get some glasses. 35. Somebody just turned 35. And you like purple. Happy birthday. With your purple self. Do you like prints too? Gosh, I miss prints. This is a blessing to bring clarity. Here's the blessing over this whole reading. It's a blessing to disperse the muddy, muddied waters of the mind and of the heart, allowing the purity of what you can can be seen clearly to guide you. What? Allowing the pure, purity of what can be seen clearly to guide you. I love that. So the mask, that looks like he's looking at the feminine. Somebody look, somebody is, let me look at that head. Hold on, y'all give me a second look at this card. I see creatures or animals on her. She's got armor on a silk dress. Oh goodness. Just pretty. I don't know why, and there's no magnolia in that picture, but I don't know why I feel like steel magnolia. You know what I mean? Like this woman has on armor and a like a silk dress. That's so pretty. And that's how your masculine sees you. Behind her head looks like butterflies, right? The butterfly wings or something. Look at her headdress. She is so ornate. Your masculine sees you as earth. He's all the four elements, earth, fire, air, water. Is that the moon behind her? And I mean, somebody's going to get some some goodness, some probably some good loving around this full moon coming up this Thursday, May 7th. But um, look at this woman. This is how the masculine sees you. She's rough, but she's soft. She's strong, yet she's delicate. You know, you to him, you are a, a walking contradiction, but you are a walking, beautiful contradiction. And you have the wind at your back, girl. He sees you as fierce. That's a goddess right there. Look at that. But this is a blessing for clarity. I could go on all day about that card. And this is what he chose for you. Isn't that beautiful? This is that. Some of y'all need to know what your masculine thinks and feels about you. If, you're, if your image is, is warped, don't put it on the masculine. Just be healed. But this is how the masculine sees you. You are powerful. You will fight for him and you will make love with him. Gen gender, genderly. Tenderly, I almost said gently, gentlemen, tenderly and gently, yet be fierce as a, as a lioness to protect and cover the family. It's a beautiful thing. And you transform. If he needs you to come out and help him cut the grass, you can do that. T-shirt and khaki shorts, what? But if he needs you to go to dinner, get dressed, baby, be beautiful. I'm taking you out. Then boom, you walk in the room and change the whole game. Ooh, that's powerful. And it's sexy. I'm feeling a lot, a lot, a lot of sacral chakra energy here. So let me get this blessing. So the blessing says, may the clarity you seek now come to you as you remember to return to the clarity that lies deep within you. May there be a shedding of ideas and beliefs that do not belong to you, for you are far more than a collection of beliefs held by others and taught to you more than your conditioning. You are a clear soul that has a transparency to your own self. So you know what it is you seek in this world because you understand who you are deep within and from that place you live. In this way, the clarity comes, the mists lift, the veils part, the path is lit up and you shine that inner light out, making the bright path ahead. You are more than a series of plans and expectations. You are a soul finding your way to the knowledge of your own self. And when you begin to find out who you are within, the clarity you seek will come again and again to cut through the tangled thoughts, to clear the path of debris, to move aside those who not wish you for the best or wish for you the best, those that will help you discover for yourself what is best and right for you to do in this moment. And thus with clarity, dear friend, thou will be blessed again and again. I cannot help but put the teacher up here. 
the support, all of his cards actually. Enchantment, look, all of these cards go, I'm gonna just run it real quick. How much time do I have? The clarity's coming, you know why? That's what, you got a blessing of clarity, a blessing for clarity, right? The masculine is receiving a blessing of clarity from spirit because he's being taught how to go within to seek what he wants without. He, the masculine is now understanding that it's not 3D, it's the 5D, it's what cannot be seen, it's what creates everything that is seen. And that's why he, that's why he doesn't need to see you, hear from you all the time, divine feminine. That's why you have to get delivered from that codependency and that desperation. You've got to know that he is yours. Your twin is yours, yours, yours. Because this masculine doesn't worry about not seeing you or hearing from you because all he has to do is look within. You are one thought away from him at all times. See? And he's learning that and he's learned that. He's waiting for you to get that. It's not about ghosting. It's not about hurting you. It's about helping you both. Somebody's got to be the strong one. Somebody's got to get this thing in order to drive this train, right? And he's dead to all those things that no longer serve him because he's found his support, his support system in knowledge, wisdom, because he's, he's, he's called on wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of truth. He's called the men. He's channeled them. And they're talking to him. His ascended masters and his spirit guides are supporting him. And this journey. Because he's met the one. That enchants him. And she is so beautiful and so fierce. <laughs> that when he sees himself, he can't help but see her. It's not lost on me that those are like twins, right? Self-reflection, twins, twins. You know what I mean? That's you and him. That's you and you. That's that's your feminine, your masculine, your fe masculine, your his feminine. It's both of you guys. Because we are, we do have duality, right? In each of us, individually, we have duality. It's two sets there. Anyway. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. One angel card. Actually, give me this one. One, one little card for, for guidance. When do you want to say anything else? Spirit to, uh, or, well, okay, sorry. Divine Masculine, Spirit, whoever wants to talk. Is there any more messages for the ones watching? These beautiful, 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 beautiful divine ones. That's two of them out there. I'm going to take it. Forgiveness, let him go. Let him off the cross. Take him off the cross. Take him down. Let him go. Let him have his reborn, reborn, rebirth. Somebody's being reborn right now. Okay, forgive whatever you're holding, whatever you're harboring. Forgive it. Let it go. He's doing too much good work over here for you to stay in that place. If you believe, whatever you believe about him, that's what he'll be. If you believe. I hear a masculine saying, get your mind right, baby. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for, so much for watching. Um, did I introduce myself? Lord, I better do that. Now they're going to click off. Listen, let me just say this. If Look at the other videos. You'll see. I, I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins. Thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your comments. Uh, if you like this video and uh, subscribe, su 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 subscribe, I think you'll um, get a kick. You'll Blessed be. You'll get a kick and be blessed uh, following along with this uh, wonderful Twin Flame journey along with the, with the crew. We're all um, some healthy divine feminines loving life and sending love and light. So you'll be great. And divine feminines and divine masculines, not just women, but uh, men too. We've got everybody. Uh, but until we meet again, guys, um, take care of yourselves and each other. If you want a private reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I call them my love and light sessions. Book you one. We'll have a chat. Okay, bye.